Hi, I'm Ian Weiss, and I am a doctor candidate in music composition at New England Conservatory, as well as associate professor of ear training at Berklee College of Music. As a composer in the past, I've written for ensembles like Hypercube, Loadbang, NEC Contemporary Ensemble, a group called Box Not Found here in Boston, and the Worcester Polytechnic Wind Ensemble. So my piece for this concert is titled King Tide for Flute, Viola, Harp, Trio. High tide is a big issue in the Boston area to begin with. A king tide is where all of that comes together to form a super high tide. I have a friend who works for the T Ferry Service, and uh, periodically king tides will swallow up the entirety of Long Wharf. Like, it goes away. It's under about eight feet of water when a king tide happens. So we're experiencing some real effects right now that I feel like not a lot of people are paying attention to. We're looking a lot at data and a lot of potential uh, models about where things are going to be. Here it's happening. <laughs> so I figured that in an opportunity to write for the flute viola harp trio with this sort of an idea is that the harp with its glissandi is just an instrument designed to make waves. So why don't I set up an idea where we have the tide coming in with the harp have something moving quickly in the in the viola as well as the flute, which can flutter tongue, making that into one big pairing on a relatively warm instrumentation to make that warmth a little disarming. I've had the pleasure of working with two other new music harpists, Joe Redman and uh, Danielle Kuntz, where they basically taught me as though I'm like a new harpist about how to play the instrument, how to pedal the instrument correctly, how to set up pedalings on the scores, how to do all the extended techniques, all that good stuff, so that it actually demystifies the harp a little bit. 